It has never been easier to create a newsletter in 2024 using AI. But why would you create a newsletter in 2024? Well, the thing of it is, is that you can reach a massive audience with over 4 billion email users worldwide in 2024 and an expected growth to 4.6 billion by 2025, email provides access to a vast potential audience. High engagement and conversion rates is another metric that you should pay attention to when it comes to newsletters. Email marketing boasts impressive engagement metrics. For instance, 61% of consumers want to receive promotional emails weekly, provided that you have a good relationship with your audience and you have great branding. But another thing that makes newsletters so powerful is that unlike social media, where algorithms can limit your reach, email marketing provides businesses with direct ownership of their email list. That means that you're not beholden to any one platform, and if Facebook decides to trank your reach, you'll still be okay with emails. Now I know newsletters have been around for a very long time, pretty much since the start of the internet. But the fact of the matter is, is that in 2024, it's still growing like crazy. In fact, Beehive, a popular newsletter platform, saw a seven-fold increase in creators starting newsletters in 2023 alone. So there has never been a better time to start a newsletter, and in today's video, we're going to go over how to create a newsletter fast using AI and content at scale. In fact, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I created an entire new issue for my newsletter, AI Curious, in just 16 minutes. Yeah, it was really that fast. Let's dive into it. 16 minutes was all it took for me to write this entire newsletter from scratch. Not only that, but to do the images, to do the links, to do everything. And it was all thanks to this agent right here. This is our newsletter creator within Content at Scale. To get started with this powerful newsletter agent, it is very, very simple. All you have to do is click on this start writing button once you're logged into Content at Scale. If you're not yet a Content at Scale customer, I highly suggest you sign up by visiting the link down in their description or by going to contentatscale.ai. So let's take a look at how easy this process is of creating a newsletter. This is the start writing dashboard. This gives you a canvas to create pretty much anything that you want. If you want to create eBooks, which we have a video that I'm going to go ahead and pin right up here, one of these sides where you can watch that as well. You can create social posts. You can create all sorts of stuff here within this main canvas area and using our awesome AI agents. So if I go to filter by and click generate, I have this AI agents button. If I simply click this button, it shows all the agents that are available to me. Now for this instance, we want to use the newsletter creator. So I already have this agent favorited so that way it shows up on top every single time that I go to agents. But what if you wanted to easily find it on your own? Well, let's go ahead and remove this agent and let's type in newsletter in this filter area. And as you can see, newsletter creator is the first result that pops up. Let's go ahead and start. So it's back in my favorites. Now, in order to start a conversation with this agent, all I have to do is click on the little head icon. And just like that, the agent appears on my screen and I'm able to interact with it and have a conversation. So the first thing the agent says is, let's get started with your newsletter. Simply copy and paste your information or idea here and let's get started. So that's very easy to use. It's literally telling you all you have to do in order to write and compose your newsletter is to give it information. Whether that's you summarizing and aggregating information from somewhere else on the web, maybe in a web page, or you have a ton of information from past trainings that you've done, webinars, whatever it may be, you're able to take that data, put it in here, and have it create newsletter sections based on what you give it. Now, for the instance of this tutorial, we're going to use another AI tool to then build out this newsletter. And we're actually going to do it the way that I run my newsletter, AI Curious. This is an example of the AI Curious newsletter. And this entire newsletter was written by AI. In fact, the very same method that I'm teaching you today is the way that I would write this newsletter. Whether that was to be find trending news on LinkedIn, on Reddit, or Google News, or etc. But now this process has gotten even easier thanks to AI agents and the Continent Scale platform. So what exactly goes into one of these newsletters? Well, we have an introduction. We have a section of the content. We have some screenshots or a Twitter embed. We have a GIF. We have another section. And it's typically about three to four sections that I include in my newsletter. And all of this is done with AI. So let's go ahead and get into the process of creating the actual newsletter itself. So we're going to create an issue of AI Curious. Let's go back into Content at Scale. And like I said before, if you already have the information available to you, whether that be previous thought leadership posts, or if you have any other previous documentation, you can use that for your newsletter as well. But let's go over a few things that hold people up when actually creating a brand new newsletter that is coming up with the name and that is coming up with the content ideas. So let's say that 
I want to create a newsletter on AI News. Can you help me come up with a name? Very simple query. I'm just asking it to help me come up with a name for my newsletter. All right, and let's take a look at its suggestions. So we're gonna go ahead and click Add to Editor, and we can see the full response here in the middle of the Canvas section. So here are a few of the names. AI Advances, Artificial Inception, <laughs> actually kind of like that one a little bit. The Intelligence Feed, Futuristic Notions, Digital Minds Weekly, Revolutions in AI, Disruption Diary, The AI Compass, Robot Revolver, Neural Nodes. So these are all very fun, interesting names. I think that I like Artificial Inception the most. I think it's kind of funny. It kind of reminds me of the movie Inception. So that's fine. So the very next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that there's no other newsletters with that name. It's very, very important. You're gonna to wanna to check to see if the domain's available. And then from there, if you decide to buy the domain or whatever it may be, you're able to do so. But always make sure that you check to make sure that the name is available before you start doing anything with your newsletter. So we have a name for our newsletter. We know that we wanna talk about AI news. So let's go ahead and start feeding it content for it to then write the newsletter sections for us. Let's get started. One of my favorite tools to use to actually compile news for newsletters is Perplexity. Perplexity is basically a better Google, in my opinion, when it comes to results-based searches. Searches where I need more in-depth information served to me without me having to go through a ton of different articles. So the prompt I gave Perplexity was a very, very simple prompt. It was, give me the top AI news from today. And this was the entire result. Here are some of the top AI news highlights from today, July 8th, 2024. So we can see NVIDIA's market cap milestone, Anthropic Claude 3.5 Sonnet model, top AI stocks and ETFs, AI utilities and other sectors, AI podcasts to stay updated. So there's a bunch of different content here that I can use for my newsletter. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with this NVIDIA market cap milestone. I think that's a good one to include in the newsletter. So I simply highlight that section, hit Command C or Control C if you're on a PC, go back to content at scale, go to the newsletter creator, and I'm simply going to paste that section in. Another cool thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the link that it had in the perplexity search because I want it to hyperlink to this actual article. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this button right here. It takes me to the article and I'm going to copy the URL. We're gonna go back to content at scale and I'm going to add this to the end of the original thing that I pasted in. So let's go ahead and add that in and let's press return and let the AI do its magic. It's not gonna take long for it to craft a really good section for this newsletter. And you can see we're already done. So let's go ahead and click add to editor. And just like that, we have a summarized section for the NVIDIA tops the chart section. And this gets the point across without overwhelming the reader with a bunch of information that they might not be interested in. So instead at the very bottom, we're actually doing a call to action for them to read the actual article. So we're basically becoming an aggregator of information and news for our readers. So you can see this says, for more details, check out the full story here. And if I click on here and click open link, it's taking us to the actual article that we're referencing. And that's literally how easy it is to write a section for your newsletter. So let's go ahead and add one more just to show how it works. So I'm gonna go back to perplexity. Then I'm gonna select this anthropic section. I'm going to go ahead and select it and hit command C or control C, go back to content at scale, enter message, and I'm going to paste it in. And this time, I'm just gonna let it do its thing. All right, and now we have the cloud section. So I'm gonna press enter, enter one more time, and I'm going to add a divider, just because I think it looks cleaner. And so I'm gonna hit enter again, add another section, and I can see that it's kinda too far down, so I'm gonna hit backspace and clean up one of those lines. So. These aren't the only tools that are available to you inside of this writing section. If you take a look right here, we have this Ask AI button, which gives you a ton of useful tools for you to continue to expand or build out your newsletter. We have things like undetectable rewrite, improve writing, fix spelling and grammar, make a selection shorter, make a selection longer, change the tone, simplify language, and summarize. These are all great tools for you to use to continue to build out your newsletter. But what if we're gonna add images in? To add images, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is click on this insert image button and you're able to drag it or click to upload. Very simple and easy to do to add images to your articles. And that is literally how easy it is to compose entire newsletters inside of Content at Scale using the newsletter agent. But where should you be posting your newsletter? Do you send it out just via your email? Well, here are a few recommendations that I recommend personally based on my experience. 
One is that you're definitely going to want to use Beehive. Beehive is an excellent platform to build newsletters, to design the newsletter and get the newsletter out while also allowing readers to subscribe to your newsletter. It also has tools for referrals and all sorts of things that really gives you a great experience and helps you grow your newsletter. The very next place that I would syndicate my newsletter is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a great place to position yourself as an authority expert or a thought leader in your industry. And just like that, you can see how easy it is to ideate an entire newsletter to then create it using our AI agent that specializes in newsletters and go through the entire process to build out a killer newsletter that your readers are gonna love. There has never been a better time to start a newsletter than right now, and it'll only take you about 16 minutes to create it. And that's it. I hope you love this tutorial. I want to do more of these. So feel free to leave a comment below on what you would like to see me do next with content at scale when it comes to content creation. 